cannot tell. My room is currently under construction, so pretty soon, like I said, I'm gonna be having new furniture, and my room is just really messy, and I didn't wanna film my intro nor outro in my room, so I'm currently in kind of my hallway, that's why it's kind of echoey, but I just hope it's not that bad and I can use this intro. Anyways, today I'm gonna show you guys how to make some super cute and easy Oreo bits for Valentine's Day. These treats are so freaking good, like I ate almost all of them and my sister loved them as well. So I think these would be freaking awesome if you wanna to give to a friend or even just to eat for yourself. I ate them, so yeah. Without further ado, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys aren't already and let's get on with the video. So the first thing you'll need is some vanilla frosting. Some Oreos, I have some double stuffed Oreos because those are my favorite. A bowl, some cookie cutters of any shape or form, I'm using these Valentine's Day ones. A fork, some candy melts, and these are just to decorate. So I have some candy melts and some sprinkles. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is pour your Oreos into the bowl. Then you're going to go ahead and grab your fork and start mushing up your Oreos so that they just practically come into like uh, some crumbs. Next you're going to want to pour in about a spoonful of the frosting onto the, into the bowl. And I'm kind of just eyeballing it out. Next, you're going to want to mix up your Oreo bits and the frosting. I am using this mushroom thingy that I found in my mom's kitchen. I just thought it would be easier to use that. Next, you're going to want to take your cookie dough and put it into the pan. I think that's what it's called. Um, so you're going to want to put it into the baking sheet. And make sure you um, put some cooking spray onto your baking sheet so that the dough does not stick. And you're going to want to knead it with your hands. And now I'm just kind of pressing it onto the cookie sheet. You're going to want to take your cookie cutter, and I'm using this super cute small heart one for Valentine's Day. You're going to want to take all the outer edges away, and you should end up with something like this. Next, I decided to use some candy melts to decorate, so I'm going to go ahead and melt my candy melts for about 30 seconds. Next, you should end up with something looking like this. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and dip in my... candy treat or my not candy treat my little heart now I'm just tapping it gently on the side so that the excess chocolate can just fall right off and I put it onto the wax paper and I ended up with something like this. I used sprinkles and I just thought they came out super cute and I love them and they're delicious. So what did you guys think? Did you guys like it? I freaking fell in love with those treats and like I said, they were super easy and super fun to make and I enjoyed making them. You guys have fun making them as well if you guys decide to make them. And they're like I said, they're super easy, like they take no baking, no nothing. And honestly, like, I just thought they were so freaking good and yeah.
hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said in the beginning please give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye love you guys